Hi, I'm Justine Ballou, and I'm a PhD student here in the Department of Plant Pathology at UC Davis. I work in Dr. Cassandra Sweat's lab, where we study vegetable diseases caused by fungi. Have you eaten pizza, ketchup, or spaghetti sauce recently? I bet you have. None of those foods would be possible without tomatoes. In fact, tomatoes are the most consumed vegetable in the U.S. after potatoes. And yes, I said vegetable. Even though we all know that tomatoes are actually fruits, way back in 1893, the U.S. Supreme Court weighed in and decided that tomatoes should be called vegetables. Specifically, I study processing tomatoes. And that's these baby little tomato plants that you see in the ground here. Just as their name implies, processing tomatoes are used for making soups and sauces, whereas fresh tomatoes are consumed raw. Either way, both are an excellent source of lycopene, which is an antioxidant super important for human health. In California and throughout the world, water scarcity is becoming an increasingly bad issue. Growers are doing what they can to adapt. One of the ways that they can do this is to irrigate crops with less water. This can work relatively well in processing tomatoes, which are fairly water stress tolerant. To a certain extent, less water in processing tomatoes can mean increased color and flavor. However, too much water stress can make plants more susceptible to disease. In our own work, we've seen that while small reductions in irrigation can mean that plants are totally fine, more severe reductions can make plants sick and weak. This is mostly because of the fusarium diseases, which are the biggest and baddest diseases of processing tomatoes in California. Fusarium causes symptoms like wilting, stem rot, root rot, they get burned. Basically, the plants collapse and sometimes even entire fields have to be abandoned. So for my research, I'm interested in enabling growers to use less water without losing their tomatoes to these diseases. We've already seen that reduced irrigation can cause tomatoes to be susceptible to some diseases, but not others. We would like to know why. We also know that increasing soil organic matter can enable soil to hold on to water better. Therefore, we're interested in, in studying whether or not increasing soil health can help protect processing tomatoes that would otherwise be water stressed and perhaps more susceptible to disease. As scientists and as a society, we can do our part to protect processing tomatoes and the delicious foods that they make by doing our part to prevent and slow climate change because keeping our processing tomatoes happy keeps us healthy and keeps those pizzas coming. Yeah.